It might look like I'm just pulling my laptop out of my backpack, but my friends, this is no laptop. This is actually an electric vehicle, and it's called the Watt Car, maybe my favorite product name of all time. Let's check it out. Everyone's been staring at me riding this thing, and honestly, I totally understand. So the Watt Car is made in Japan by a company called Coco Motors, and one of the taglines is actually, the car in your bag. Well, I love cars, and I also love bags, so I just had to try one. And once you pull it out of the bag, the first two things you notice are that it's really small, and it seems like it's built really well. There's no screw holes to be seen anywhere. We got some carbon fiber action here. It's got this really nice handle. And then you think, hmm, for an electric vehicle, those sure look like desk chair wheels. And then you start thinking about standing on this little platform and going fast, and you start to get a little nervous. There it is. It operates similar to a one wheel. There's four sensors on the top of the platform, and once your feet are touching all four sensors, then the board will begin to move forward. It's got three speeds represented by these LED lights here. The top one maxed out at about 10 miles per hour. And it doesn't sound that fast, but when you're standing kind of awkward skier style forward on this thing, 10 miles an hour ends up feeling kind of fast. You get used to turning after a while. It's mostly just shifting your weight in the direction you want to go. It's not as intuitive as a one wheel or like the first time I tried a hoverboard, I was kind of blown away because the board seemed to turn in the exact direction I wanted it to without me feeling like I was actually doing it. Like it was some sort of Jedi mind trick. You don't really get that here. You really got to think about where to put your weight to turn it. Stopping is also really hard to master. You're supposed to lift up your toes off one of the sensors and the board will slowly come to a stop. I don't know if my feet are too big for this thing, but it's pretty awkward. I felt like I really had to lift my foot off and hope that the board would slow down. And I did end up getting more used to it, but luckily, again, you are so low to the ground that it's easy to just jump off and have the thing skid to a stop behind you, which is what I ended up doing most of the time. It's also worth noting that the walk car does not move backwards. All right, but let's talk about these wheels again. I've never been to Japan, but I've got to assume that the ground is a lot smoother than here in the US. These are pretty hard. They're coated in rubber, but there's no tread. And actually, they are smoother than you'd think they'd be. They handle small sidewalk cracks and little debris in the road pretty easily. But the sidewalks around where I live, for example, didn't stand a chance. Bad idea. And again, because you're standing forward facing, which is a little awkward to me, I found myself just constantly scanning for anything that could potentially just huck me forward. But when you do take the walk car to somewhere with smooth ground and no stop signs and no traffic, it's pretty fun to ride. It actually does feel like you're zooming around on a little laptop. As you can see, it's pretty hard to look cool while you're riding it. But that being said, it's got a range up to three miles, which isn't a ton, but again, it's very compact. This battery probably isn't huge. And for what it's worth, it charges up pretty quickly. Yep, it's dying right as I'm getting back to my car. But now the big question, how much does the Watt car cost? Well, my friends, take a deep breath because it comes in at just under 2,000 US dollars, which does sound pretty crazy. I'm not sure how much of a direct competitor this is to the one wheel, but you can get the smallest one wheel for about half that. It's got a big go-kart tire that you can take off road, it goes a lot faster, and it's about double the range. So the Watt car is a bit silly, but I gotta give the folks at Coco Motors some props for at least trying something different. I think your needs gotta be pretty niche to want something like this, but I can think of a few. Maybe you have a commute that involves a mile long subway transfer and you just pull this out of your bag, set it down, and then while all those drones are merely walking, you can just glide past them, walk carring instead. So that's gonna do it. What do you think of the walk car? Will it fit in your bag? That's the big question. Thanks so much for watching and as always, be excellent to each other.